Look at what's going on by the back door. There's five cats, potentially more that I can't see behind the wall. And I guess they're watching birds. I did not put any bird seed out today for the birds. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 10 a.m. and the door to downstairs is open and all of the kittens have free room today. They've been downstairs all night since they had dinner yesterday. They also had their breakfast downstairs this morning. Here's Nancy. She's on the stairs. So what I had to do to keep them from banging on the door was actually put a gate in the door. I just put one gate on the bottom of the door. That definitely helped to keep them from banging on the door. And they did a little bit of meowing this morning when they wanted to come up, but it wasn't enough to wake me up. So I got like... A good night's sleep for the first time in quite a few days. So here's Boo. He's in his room. The three other cats, Stella, Splash, and Simba, are all in my room. So they had their breakfast today on the play rug in the living room. And then what I did was I lured them into my room with some crunchies and some treats. And Boo didn't want to go. So Boo's out here with the kittens. And we'll see how he does today. But Boo's really happy here in this room. So... That's probably why. He was in my room all day yesterday with the other cats. And it was all four of them. They had a really good time. And Boo, you look very handsome on green. And they were nice and relaxed all day. And then today, um, it's just the three of them. Now, I did not give Splash a full dose of the CBD this morning. What I did was I put everything on everyone's plate. So they each got four drops of the CBD oil, which is only a partial dose. Um, I'm hoping it's just enough to take any kind of stress edge off of them. They all got some cranberry powder in their food. They all got some apple cider vinegar in their food. Now Splash had a better night last night than the previous two nights. Um, he was not in and out of the litter box all night. He did go to the litter box more than usual, but it wasn't just like a constant, constant, constant thing. And even this morning before breakfast, he only used the litter box maybe three, maybe four times maximum. It wasn't like previous days where he was just going from litter box to litter box to litter box. So that seems to be good. So my plan right now for the day is to keep Stella Splash and Simmet in my room, let them relax in there. Boo's just going to be on free roam with the rest of the cats. If things get out of hand, I'll just pick him up and I'll put him back in my room. The problem with Boo is, and this is the problem that I had this morning, which is why he's not in the room. Sometimes you can't pick him up. Sometimes when you catch him unaware, you could pick him up and move fast and kind of get him where you want him. But there's other times where you can't. Like, he will try to bite. Um, and he puts up a fight. So... We'll see how it goes with Boo here today with the kittens. So the kittens are going to be on free roam during the day. And then when it's time for dinner, they're all going to have dinner downstairs. Then they're all going to be downstairs all night. That is going to be our routine for this week. We're going to see how it goes. Right, Boo? Another thing I should mention is the pillow that was here that Splash peed on twice. Um, I put it in the laundry. Um, so first I washed the cover, then I washed the pillow. And they're both drying in my laundry room. And I have these two wee wee pads that I put here. And I checked everything this morning. And this is the flashlight that I got from Eva Lash uh, a while ago. And it is a UV light. So you can see if you um, shine this light on things, you could see if there's a problem with urine or something. And you could see here, see how that lights up? So that's how I know Splash used this wee wee pad last night. So I'm thankful that he used the wee wee pad and he, need, and he did not use the the couch itself or one of the pillows. So that's what I did last night. Um, last night um, I went through the whole house shining this on pretty much everything. And then this morning I shined it here again and I saw that he actually used this. So um, that was surprising because I, I didn't think he would do that. But he did it. So we still have some work to go as far as relaxing him and getting him back to his normal routine. So here's Stella. She's laying on the bed. There's Splash. He's laying on the bed. There's Simba. He's on the cat tower and I have relaxing harp music on the speaker for them. It's 10.33 a.m. and look at what's going on by the back door. There's five cats, potentially more that I can't see, behind the wall. 
and I guess they're watching birds. I did not put any bird seed out today for the birds. So, not sure what's going on. Um, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago, Boo smacked Richard. I guess Boo did not like how Richard was looking at him, so we gave him a good smack. Probably a warning smack. Oh, we're up to six cats. Six of the cats here. Um, and so then um, Richard backed away. Now, I can't remember if that was before or after Richard chased Boo out of his room. Because I just remember, I don't know if I was coming out of the bathroom or where I was coming out of, and I saw Boo come flying out of his room with Richard behind him, and Boo's tail was all big. And, yeah, I don't remember if Boo smacked Richard before that or after that. Anyway, so last night I was downstairs playing with the cats for a little while, and... What happened was Ringo jumped on top of Richard and then Richard just like shook him off. He's like, get off me. And um, so that's why I'm like, well, maybe it's, you know, how they play or what. But like if these cats do it to each other, it doesn't turn into a fight. Like sometimes they might wrestle a little bit, but it's usually not like a serious fight. Like right here, this might be a little bit of a disagreement, but it could just be Richard wanting to play. So, you know, it, it could be that they're trying to play with the other cats. It could be that they're trying to assert dominance on the other cats. But in either case, um, Splash and Simba are showing way too many signs of stress recently. So we're going to split up the cats for a little while and um, see how it goes. I'm only taking one day at a time and one week at a time and nothing is permanent we have to remember nothing is permanent everything's temporary i don't know if i'm keeping these cats i mean i feel like i'm giving them a chance i'm giving them a chance to stay together but maybe i can't keep them together in a perfect world someone without any cats but who has experience with cats would be like yeah i'll take all seven cats and i'll give them a beautiful home but we all know that we don't live in a perfect world it is 12.30 p.m. and here's Boo. He is relaxing on his favorite cat tower. What you got? Some fur in your toe? Okay, you're a good boy, Boo. Boo's happy today. You're a happy boy. Okay, so here's Boo in the cat tower. Here's Nancy. I think she was by the windows. Here's Sammy. Sammy loves taking an afternoon nap on top of this cat tower in the kitten room or Boo's room, whatever we want to call it. So she's happy here. And what do we have here? We have Ringo, Ziggy, and Richard. They're very happy. Oh, there's Nancy. They're very happy taking naps under the day sofa during the day. This is what they did yesterday also. And then they took themselves downstairs for dinner, except for Ziggy. She needed a little prompting to go down there. So there's... Three cats here under the day sofa. We saw Sammy, that's four. We saw Nancy, that's five. So we're missing little Eva and Goldie. So here's Goldie, she's downstairs. Nancy just came down to see what I'm doing. And I don't know where little Eva is. So little Eva was under the trampoline and this is something that I did yesterday. So I have kind of had the trampoline um, like off to the side it was not in use um, like horizontally I had it vertically against the wall so no one was using it and it just made more room here for the cats to run around but I figured that the cats would like to lay under it the same way that they like to lay under the day sofa so I put it here right near the sofa and um, I, I got a blanket there's a gray blanket here I covered it with a gray blanket and then this is the rug that I used to have on top of it because it fits perfectly so I put the rug on top of it so last night when we had playtime Goldie and Sammy and Richard and Nancy like a bunch of the cats were underneath it and then this morning you could see what they did to it they bunched up the blanket probably because they were jumping on it which is fine so I'm just gonna I'll fix the blanket so it hangs over and um, Eva could hang out under underneath it out of all the cats she spends the most time down here I, I think she just really likes to kind of be down here by herself she just there she is she's going back under the trampoline so um 
you know, we're just rearranging things. This is temporary just to kind of get a feel for what the cats like and what they don't like. And this is what's going on in my bedroom. So Stella's laying on the bed with Splash. Splash is such a mama's boy. And they've been laying on the bed this morning. So at least he's happy. He's not using the litter box every 10 minutes. So that's good. There's Simba. He's up in the penthouse. Can you see him? He's laying down. Hey, Simba. So there's Splash. Very happy today. And there's Stella. How you doing, Splashy? It is 7.10 p.m. And the cats are having their dinner. They're having um, a can of Merrick turkey pate and some salmon shiba with a churu on top. They're sharing a churu and they're sharing the other cans that I just mentioned and a very, very few crunchies. So I just finished reading a very interesting book about cats and it advocates for a low carb diet for cats. And I looked at all the canned food that I have for the cats and the Sheba is actually the lowest carb out of all of the cat foods that I have. And the wellness is actually pretty high in carbs. And so is the nature's promise um, that I've been feeding the downstairs cats. So I'm kind of just going through my inventory and just trying to gradually lower the carb level for these cats. Now, obviously dry food has the highest carb level. So I'm trying to reduce the amount of dry food I give them also. So I literally counted out like only eight little crunchies on each plate just to give them an enticement to eat because they're so used to having crunchies on their food. And also what I'm doing at night now, instead of a crunchy snack, I've been like opening up like a can of Friskies, like a lower carb can of Friskies um, or something like that. I want to review some parts of the book, but she makes a very uh, valid argument and strong point for a low carb diet for cats. And that means um, food that is less than 10% carbs on a dry weight basis or dry matter basis. And she um, gives you um, a really easy uh, calculation on how to figure that out. So that's what I did. And yeah, I'm kind of shocked at the uh, amount of carbs in a lot of this cat food. And what I'm realizing is that when I make the homemade raw food, it's much lower in carbs naturally um, because the supplements that I put in are non-starchy carbs. Um, the only thing that I was concerned about was the pumpkin because I usually add like a pound of pumpkin to like 15 pounds of food, but there's only two grams of carbs per ounce of roasted pumpkin. So I don't think that's too bad when you factor in the rest of the ingredients. Um, but it might be why I said I noticed that Boo was like having itchy skin or over grooming again since he's been on more of the canned food uh, because the canned food is much higher in carbs and the book does say that if a cat's going to have like allergies or health issues it's usually related to the amount of carbs in the diet. So um, now that I have this information over the next few days I'm going to be you know taking the cats more and more in the direction of low carb um, even if it means I have to go out and buy some different canned food and uh, make more of the homemade raw food. So anyway, I also wanted to document that the kittens took themselves downstairs today. I did have to walk around the house a few times to kind of uh, herd a few of them downstairs, but they all went down by themselves except for Sammy. Um, but as I was down there, uh, she just came down on her own. She's like, okay, I'm gonna come down. I guess we're eating. So I'm trying to get them used to that routine. Today was a nice and peaceful day. Um, it was calm, not chaotic. And that's what I realized um, the other day. It was just pure chaos. And when things are pure chaos, it's just stressful all around for everybody and not relaxing. And um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make order out of chaos. And now that we have a bit of a routine set, it's much calmer. And if everyone could stay on this routine, um, I think it's much better. So there's Simba, he's in the cat tower. He did not vomit, he's been eating okay. Um, he's been acting normally, everything's fine with him. 
It sounds like Splash is in the litter box. So he has been in the litter box more than normal today, but not as bad as it's been previous days. So I'm hoping that's moving in the right direction also. Now the book also mentions UTIs and the amount of carbohydrates in the cat food. And it specifically says if you feed your cat food that's higher in carbs, they are more prone to crystals in their bladder and UTIs. So that's another reason why I want to give the cats um, lower carb cat food to deal with Splash's issue. I actually might run out to a store tonight and see if I could pick up a few cans of a lower carb cat food. So this is like not a normal week for me. My schedule is a bit off this week. Tomorrow's going to be normal. The day after is going to be normal. Then the day after that I have to be out of here early and I'm probably going to be gone all day and coming back later. So the kittens are going to have to stay downstairs all day that day and... Um, these guys will be up here and I have so much I have to get done before that. So just trying to balance things. It's about 9.45 p.m. and the cats have been watching some Boo videos, some of the early Boo Day videos when Boo is still outside. And I just gave them some leftover turkey meat and some turkey deli meat. And the other cats had some as a snack this afternoon so I gave all the leftovers to uh, these seven down here and they're enjoying it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you. Bye.